Hi there, and today we have a big box. Let's see what's in here. I actually do have an idea of what's in here, but well, I'm trying to make it sound like it's a surprise. Why is it? Keep changing the output. Okay, that was interrupted. So in here, we should have something pretty big because the box is pretty big. Huh. Let's, oh, I hate boxes. There we go. Oh no. In there. Jeez. This packaging is super tight. And I'm doing my best to not show my address on camera here. Oh yeah. Okay. Try to get this out without. Now that's the box. Yeah, you guys can guess what this is. This is a Tin Hi-Fi P1. P stands for planar. So okay, let's see if I can open this. All right, so now that I know what this is, um, let's talk about um, how it got here. Um, I bought this with my own money. On I pre-ordered it on Linsol Audio and it took three weeks to get here. That's a lot of time. But well, it got here in one piece. So that's a good thing. Is this sort of the right way? Oh, that's the... Damn! Okay. That's impressive. Alright, let's... Get this up one by one. Okay, first... A box. Oh my. Looks like carrying case. Whoa. Damn, now that's a package. Wow. That's a really nice carrying case. Wow, I'm. Is that magnetic? A little bit magnetic. I am impressed. But then I did pay a pretty penny for this, so. I am expecting good service like this. A ton of tips, which doesn't really matter because I will use the Kony phones anyways. Maybe. And this is one hell of a cable. Right. Come on, don't be shy. Open. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so that's a very interesting cable and weave. This cable is actually pretty nice. Um, feels soft. Looks like it's not not going to bend. Let me put 
this, the part up here is also pretty solid. Very nice weave and we have a adjustment bead here to match the cables. And the MMCX connectors on the end looks pretty slick. All right, let's get back into the box. Okay, let's I'll just take one out. I'll, I'll take both out and I'm speechless right now if you can't tell because this looks Wow, um, they're very small, comes with foam tips, which are surprisingly nice. These are actually memory foam, really memory, memory foam. Um, wow, it's so shiny. Okay, I think I might need to uh, polish this a little bit. Always keep a microfiber around to polish things. Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, let's put this in the case for now. Let's see if there's anything left in the box. Nice cutout. And Two layers of cut out. Okay, under here we have the paperwork. It's in Chinese. Um, oh, there we go, the specs. 12 months guarantee. That's not very important. Take a look at the specs if my camera can somehow focus on it. There we go. Planar magnetic driver. Sensitivity 96 decibels. That's very low for an IEM. Impedance 20 ohms, so that's normal. Wow. Okay, so let's clear some of the clutter. That's that, let's try plugging this in for a test drive. Okay, so red is right. Okay, so this one should be left. Get yeah, left. Whoa. Pretty clear markings on the butts. And let's see the plugging in sensation. Is it notes? Okay, this is tight. Not, not too tight. And right. right. The package feels very premium, I have to say. The in ears also feels very good. Like, sure, I did pay a lot of money for this, but. Um, Right now it seems kind of worth it. Emphasis on right now. All right, this is make or break, German. Okay, that's a lot of isolation. Um, I actually cannot hear my voice right now. Well, I can, but it's very hard to tell how loud I'm speaking with these in. So I have to just probably not say anything for the last for the next minute because I cannot control my volume. These are very isolating. So we're starting at minus 40 decibels on 
my top x 3 Pro. So it took me a few minutes to realize that I was not, I was still on camera and I did not say anything for like three minutes. So I decided to just turn it off, enjoy the music and I'm done. I'm trying to contain my hype here because uh, these are seriously good. But first, let's talk a little bit about driving these. This is just first impressions, so I'm not going to be sp very specific. Um, in short, these are very hard to drive, just like my HD 650s. Um, you're looking at the same volume level there on my DX3 Pro. So that can be a problem. I have not plugged this into my phone yet. It is still currently charging. Um, Comfort is um, perfect. Um, I will wear these to sleep. I'm not sure if I should wear these to sleep because they're so expensive. Maybe I will. Um, the tips are very good. Um, this is proper memory foam that doesn't feel hot or, well, feels good in, in your ears, in my ears. The cable. Well, I mean, it's only a few minutes, but I still haven't found any problems with the cable, so I guess they are good for now. Let's trying to, I'm beating around the bush here. Let's talk a little bit about the sound. Tonality, how much bass, mid, and treble there are, there is, is perfect. Maybe there's a teeny tiny, like 5% of bass bleed. But other than that, it's perfect. And the bass bleed might be caused by the tips penetrating my ears too, too much. So I will experiment with other tips to see how that change. Again, tonality is almost perfect. Oh, soundstage um, is the same as Tinty 2's. Um, not any larger, um, still a little bit around your head, but doesn't go super far, super wide. And to be honest, I haven't heard any IEMs go super far, super wide yet. So, nothing to say there. Bass. I'm not going to go too, into too much detail here, but the bass feels kind of unreal. For example, 650s have natural bass. That feels real. This is so good. It's the opposite of that. Imagine if you let an, an artificial intelligence practice making bass for a thousand years on these biggest supercomputers out there, and then you hear the bass that it makes. This is what the Tin P1 is doing. It's that good. Um, vocals, I, I don't really have anything to say yet other than that it's very good, and my I'll have to compare to my T2 650s to make a proper opinion. But there doesn't seem to be any, anything wrong with the mids. The treble. I've been searching for the perfect treble IEMs. And the Tin T2s is a little bit too bright. GSN Pro is a little bit too warm, etc. etc. This is perfect. Um, there's detail in the, there's all the detail in the treble, but no siblings at all, no harshness at all. Separation is pretty good, but again, I have to compare to really make sure that, uh, to really know how good it is. That's it for the first impression. This might be a standalone video if I choose to. 
I'm not sure whether I should do that. I, it will probably go up first because I would like to spend a lot of time with these IEMs to really make sure that I'm not screwing anything up because they are very good and I'm hyped right now. Um, this right now I'm not being very objective. But I am really excited. Um, so right now you should be seeing a end card to the review of the Tin High 5 P1s if I have uploaded that video. And I'll be back.